up G here welcome to my channel as you can read from the title I'm back I took a little I took a little break no it wasn't that long but I'm back I know you miss me don't lie you miss me say it say that you miss me all right thank you. on today's video I'm gonna give you guys an update as far as what's been going on first off let's talk about the real estate investing December makes it a year since I'm on this property i'm really excited it's been a year it felt so short it felt like the time went by so fast but it's been a year just learning the ins and out of real estate investing and also just learning how to be a landlord just to give you a refresher i have a rental property it has four units but it's legally a triplex last time i left off i basically had a tenant i was going through it with a tenant and the tenant was not happy the tenant wanted to move out so we agreed on like some terms and i ended up canceling the lease because if you want to live here then after that i had to basically find a new tenant so i fixed the unit i uh, did the floors did the baseboard it was already painted I, I had already painted it so i got another um tenant into the unit that one also i didn't really do my <laughs> diligence as far as interviewing the tenant the tenant did not have a credit score that wasn't from here but they was working and the United States. They had the social and everything. There's job vouchers for the tenant. They stated on the employer record, uh, the letter, how much the tenant was going to be making. This is a good tenant. They would really appreciate it if I took the tenant on. I basically agreed. And another part of the term was that they was going to pay their first, last, and security plus three months in advance. Time came, the tenant moved in, everything was going smooth. After that three months process, the tenant paid the rent then the next month the tenant chose not to pay the rent i was like what's going on i asked the tenant that the rent is due the tenant told me that they don't know when they was going to be paying me i'm like what's going on like why they said that they was having a problem with their bank bank and they couldn't get the payment which that was a red flag for me because i'm like that don't make any sense like there's so many ways that you can take money out of your bank you can go to the bank and you can do a lot of things to take the money out of the bank so the tenant was like they're really sorry i'm like okay well do you know when you're going to resolve the issue with your bank the tenant was like i don't know when i'm gonna pay you your rent so a couple of days went by still didn't receive the rent i'm like man what am i gonna do i talked to my realtor so i basically told he told me to basically contact the the, the the tenant employer that vouched for the tenant so i called the tenant boss and the tenant boss was shocked like what do you mean they're not paying their rent then the boss was like all right i'm gonna give you a call back so eventually they called the tenant for the tenant to pay their rent and the tenant called me back the tenant was like they were sorry they didn't know how big of a deal it was of them not paying the rent um me and the tenant agreed the tenant told me that she was going she was going to pay me half then by the end of the month she was going to continue she was going to finish paying the rest of the rent so the next day came the tenant didn't pay nothing i'm like okay two days passed the tenant sent me 250 dollars mind you the rent was like 1250 and i texted the tenant I was like, I thought you were supposed to pay half. The tenant was like, yeah, I'm still going to be making those payments. We agreed to the end of the month. So we got close to the end of the month. And I, at that point, I was basically tired. So I went through the whole eviction process. I went to the court, filed an eviction. And when the tenant finally received the eviction notice, they called me. They was like, I can pay you. I thought we agreed. We had an agreement. And I basically explained to the tenant what the agreement was. And the tenant was like, I can pay some right now and finish paying it off. Basically, they were trying to fumble to pay their rent. And I basically explained that I tried to work with you. There was lack of communication. You really didn't try to work with me. So I went through that whole process. The tenant eventually went through a court and hired a legal aid. So they filed a motion to dismiss or file a motion to mediate. So the tenant not be evicted. One Tuesday, I'm just chilling. I received a text from the tenant. The tenant was like, all right, I cleaned all my stuff and I'm out the unit. I left the keys on the fridge. So instead of being mad, I was like, all right, I'm glad this, this process is done with. So I was just sitting there and thinking like, man, what should I do? Because this is my second tenant now that has given me problems. And this is my first year being like a landlord. 
So I was just thinking, I'm like, okay, my units is kind of fixed. I'm like, let me look into the Airbnb route. Eventually hired a property manager. We walked through both of the units, the unit the tenant was standing in my unit. And we decided that it was best for to put my unit on Airbnb. So I just had a couple of things that I had to fix. As far as like the AC, I had to fix the bathroom, the countertops. Now the unit is in top shape. Um, the unit has been doing great on the Airbnb. And the unit is booked all the way to March. And I have someone booked it in April also. So it's been doing great for me. Uh, getting more uh, cash flow from that unit than I would have been getting from the tenant. So I already made most of my money back so it i started at the end of november so it's been going great going forward that's the route that i want to look into as far as tap into as far as like with airbnb because where i purchased the property is a great location it's like 10 minutes away from fort lauderdale airport plus the beach is not that far away plus downtown fort lauderdale is not that far away so it's a really good spot for airbnb so i'm looking into tap into that and do more of my rentals even the one that i'm staying right now i would like to turn it into airbnb and eventually who knows all four units can go on airbnb and this property could fund for my other properties god willing I'm, I'm going to get in the future and another thing too i've been thinking about doing the airbnb ever since like a couple of months after that i purchased the rental property it was just that i was kind of scared because i didn't really know about airbnb i was just gonna look just rent it to tenants and basically collect cash flow. But jumping into the Airbnb, see how hard it's going for me. I think that's the route I'm going to take with this particular property. And the Airbnb has been doing great. And my property manager, shout out to my property manager. She's been doing a great job. And the Airbnb space right now is really profitable. Now I'm saying that I have been investing a lot as far as in cryptocurrency. I love cryptocurrency. That's my second love after real estate. And on this channel, I'm going to tap in more as far as like doing more crypto videos. Before I took a little break off of YouTube, the last video I was going to make is about crypto. I was going to talk about like just basically three three coins. It was uh, Phantom, it was ADA, Cardano, and it was Mana. Mind you, that was like five months ago. Since then, those coins have gone crazy. And right now, we know that the crypto market is kind of down right now, but we know it's going to get back up again. That video, if I had made that video, I would have made a lot of you guys money because Phantom, since then, it was at 22 cents when I was going to make the video. It jumped all the way to $3. 40 something cents and cardano was around a dollar and it jumped all the way to three dollars and mana mana was around 76 cents and then jump all the way to five dollars so that's one thing that i want to start tapping into and more as far as like cryptocurrency on this channel and teaching you guys how to buy buy these coins not financial advice by the way i'm not going to give you guys any financial advice i'm going to just document my crypto series it's just going to be for entertainment purposes if you learn something good please like the videos and also if you want to know what cryptos that i'm currently invested in comment down below go ahead and smash that like button for me please go ahead and subscribe my last update i did tap in into nft i purchased one nft don't judge me why are you judging me? don't judge me i see you judge me don't judge me one nft um from epic eagle i purchased it on open c that one i'm gonna keep holding it because right now the floor is super low i'm really proud of that got my first nft so yeah um besides that any questions that you have Please go ahead and comment down below. I'm back. I'm back, baby. I'm back to making these videos. Um, I've been, I know I've been gone for a little minute, but I'm back. As always, please be safe. Please be healthy. Peace be with you.